Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is 10 great knives from 2021 that are under three inches, three inches or less. So I wanted to stir this video up a bit. So I kind of grabbed knives from different companies to, you know, that are really good knives from those companies that are under three inches. I will be doing a best of 2021 in, you know, very soon, but we have the O knife parrot. Now Kaiser's making this knife. And one thing I really like about this knife, aside from the action and the fact that it's on multi row bearing, so stupid smooth, but I love the pinch grip with this knife. It's a very useful uh, blade shape that's super slicey with its very tall grind. It is nice and slicey, very thin behind the edge, but the pinch grip with this thing, you know, just using it to open things up, it works really good, but you can get a full four finger grip on this and get a lot of pressure and through the cut. So you could, it's slicing works really, really good with this. They have different versions. This one's the micarta version. Access to the liner, really, really good. Like I said, stupid smooth. Deep carry clip and the clip and carry work great. Internal stop pins. And, you know, like I said, there's multiple different versions. This one happens to have the coating, 154 CM blade steel. And yeah, fantastic little knife. Next, this one's a slip joint. And this is by Fox Knives, made in Italy, delivery. Now it has, it's a slip joint with a half stop. And it is a very smooth, very easy. It doesn't need a nail nick at all. It's very easy to open up. This one's in Micarta, but this is with M390 and Micarta for under $100. This is $97. They have other versions that are about $101. But either way, right around 100 bucks. It is a fantastic little blade shape. Now, under 3-inch knives, I tend to use them as... You know, I'm not going to say just for utility, but as a secondary knife. So I like them to be good at multi-purpose, but very useful for detail work. You know, stuff that my large knife can't do. And they wind up being, in many cases, the most useful knife that I carry. And this is a great option for those that can't carry a locking blade or a large knife. And it's made in Italy. Next, we got the Tucson TS319. Now, this is a CM design, and we have another CM design coming up. CM designs have made, well, I found them in 2021, but great designs. I do really like his designs or their designs. I don't know them personally. I think um, I, I've... Uh, just, you know, recently found them with this year, like I said, and I really like their designs. Now, this one's in 14C28M, titanium, carbon fiber with a steel liner lock. So this is going to be great for lefties or righties. Now, the clip is only a right-hand carry, but it works great. Really good detent, really good reverse flicking action. Not fall shut action, but, you know, you can shake it shut for sure. It is on ceramic caged bearings. Now, this thing is very thick, so that's one thing. It is a palm-filling knife, and it has a robust grind, but because of, the you know, what it's used for, you know, basically opening things up, it works fantastic for that job, and you can get by with slicing if you need to, especially with these ergos. Great, great knife, though. I really like this one. Next, we have the Civivi Bow. The Civivi Bow is a very slim, easy-to-carry knife, and I really like its antique kind of look or vintage look. This one's in dark green micarta, but there are lots of options with this one. We have Nitro V Steel, very slicey blade, nice and thin, very useful blade shape. Liner lock is easy to access. Nice and smooth. Now, this is the second one I've had. I did wind up giving one away. It's that good because it's uh, it's a great gift knife for sure. Deep carry pocket clip that's not reversible, but the action is super snappy. It is riding on ceramic caged bearings. So if you did gift this to somebody, they would be able to deploy it no problem at all. Very, very nice action. Now, Awesome, awesome knife. I do rep recommend this one a lot for those of you that need a three inch or under. Now, let's throw down another CM design because we already talked about him. Another CM designs. Now, this is the Kubi KU321. 
amazing blade shape, such a useful blade shape. You can use it for opening things up or utility cuts. Plus you have a little bit of belly for slicing and a nice flat area for push cuts. The Ergos are so good on this. It has a very neutral grip on it, so you can get up nice and close to the blade or you can stay back. But since it has this flat straight back area, it works really good for push cuts. Now this one's in D2 steel. It did take a really good edge and uh, I need to sharpen it again. I definitely use this one a lot. Access to the liner, really, really good. Very, very smooth. The reverse flick and detent. Kubi knocked their detents out of the park in 2021. I mean, they've always had really good detents, but holy cow, did they really show off their detent skills this year. The front flipper works great as well. And it does have a reversible deep carry clip. And another thing I really like is that they're using nice big hardware. T8s all the way around aside from the clip and a T10 pivot. Awesome, awesome knife. Next, the Concept Goblin. Now, they recently came out with an XL version. It hasn't dropped yet, but I did review the, the prototype of the XL version. Now, this is a little guy. Very compact, very small, but very easy to flick. And you can still get a four-finger grip because they, it allows you to get up nice and tight to the choil. S35 VN blade steel, titanium that is um, stonewashed. And they have a couple different options. Access to the liner is really good. The front flipper works very easy. It's very easy to deploy this little knife. I do have a full review on this little guy, so go and check it out. Next, this one's a newer one to me. This is the Tucson TS385, and I'm not a huge Persian, you know, blade shape fan because especially for my EDC knives, my everyday carry knives, because I like to be able to use my tip more, and this one you just, you know, it's kind of difficult to use the tip. However, if you like Persian blades, this is a great option, especially if you really like front flippers because it's a front flipper only. It has a really nice... Um, cool design. I like the multicolor G10. We have lots of milling, both sides. This is one of the best clips Kubi's or Kubi, the one of the best clips Tucson has used. This clip works so good, and the front flipper also very snappy. This one comes with a nice strong detent. Now. If you're not used to using a front flipper, it might have too strong of a detent right off the bat, but they do break in. But if you're used to front flippers, you'll love it. Now, it does have internal stop pins. Ooh. So it does lock out really, really solid. Nice and slicey. Beautiful ergos. It fits in the hand really nicely. You can really bear down with this knife. Access to the lock bar is pretty good. And you do have the inlay on both sides, which is really nice. Let's get to the next one. Oh, yeah. Hidden lanyard hole back here or lanyard pin. Next, we have the Finch Harvester. My favorite Finch knife right here. I, I love this knife, man. It's such a little, I keep calling it a little workhorse because it is. It is a, definitely a little workhorse. Now, it comes in multiple different options. We have, they have the bone, wood, and then this is the micarta version. It has the little glowing shield. If you light it up, it will glow. Now, the action is really, really good on it. I love this nail nick because I can easily, easily reverse flick that nail nick. And the blade shape, so good for utility cuts or opening things up. Because of the ergos, it allowing you to get your four fingers wrapped around like that. You can really get behind straps and, ooh, and cut straps and rope and things. Now, for push cuts and stuff, even though, you know, it kind of angles the blade shape. But like, like I said, because of the ergos, you can really get up nice and tight to that blade. And it's like it kind of holds the cut when you're cutting. It kind of keeps the stuff into the 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 teeth of the edge you know so it works really really good now the access to the lock bar is also very nice it is very drop shutty or nice and drop shutty and the t-tent is extremely well tuned titanium milled pocket clip that also is a very very good pocket clip this is one of my favorite knives of 2021 that's under or three inches or under 
All right, two more. Another one of my favorites from 2021 is this little guy. Now this, they do have a liner, or sorry, a slip joint version of this. This is the liner lock version of that knife. But this one did come out in 2021 and they have a couple different options. This one is, well, they're, I think they're all micarta and carbon fiber. Unless if you go with the slip joint version, then it's a complete uh, carbon fiber or, um, or a complete micarta one. Now, this, this one has the micarta and the carbon fiber. You cannot feel this transition. It is seamless. Nice deep carry clip that is inset with flat screws. Micarta backspacer with a lanyard pin back here. It is a liner lock and nice and smooth. Not fall shut action, but it is very smooth. Now, it's such a light blade. That's why it's not going to be like the most drop shutty. But, man, is it snappy. I can... This is probably one of the easiest reverse looking knives I've ever felt. I mean, even though it's just a fuller, it is so, so easy. I mean, at least mine is. Now, it's not going to be the easiest for a thumb flick, but you can slow roll it. Super thin blade, super thin behind the edge. Very nice for the detail work. Slicing, it is so good. It has a very um, traditional modern traditional look it's a modern knife with a traditional look to it and i love that now the access to the liner is not the best but if you look right here they actually gave you a place where you if you just get some sandpaper you could file this back right there and you will get even better access i know i'm going to eventually use do mine the front flipper also works really good now i do wish the jimping was a little bit sharper but it's still extremely extremely easy to use as you can see Love this one. Now, possibly, possibly, I'm not, I haven't, I'm not positive yet, but possibly my favorite knife of 2021 is the Kaiser Deviant. I love this knife. Now, I have to say, knives like, there are a couple other knives out there that I do think are possibly a little bit, a little bit more useful, but this one has been one that I just, I really love carrying this knife. It works perfect for the things that I like to do with my secondary knife. It works really good for utility cuts. It still slices really good. Access to the liner is just so good. It is stupid smooth. The, the placement of the thumb studs, super snappy. Very easy to get to. And the detent is just so well tuned. Kaiser's another one that knocked out their action in 2021. They just did ridiculous action. It has a satin on the top, like a hand satin on the top with a stonewashed flat ground blade. M390 steel. They have these on sale for like $130 right now. Get one. Get one. I'm telling you, it's amazing. I picked the copper and my Carta version, but they do have like a tuxedo version that's all black and white. Deep carry clip that works out great. Feels nice in the hand. I love the sharpening choil on this. Tick took a oh, it's still very sharp. Um, takes a very, very good edge. And because of this, like, I don't know, this vintage look. I patinaed it, by the way. It does does come with um, you know, just regular copper, but I don't know. I love the way it looks. You know, it looks good to me. It functions really good. Good steel, good materials. So I, I actually love this knife a lot. Now, as for my favorite knives for 2021, it's really difficult when we talk about favorites because I usually always have to ask, favorite what? Like, if you ask me my favorite knife under three inches, I usually ask for what? Like, my favorite action because the knife I like to use and cut with might be separated from the knife I think has the best action or, you know, the best looking, you know? So there are sometimes knives that I, you know, wind up, you know, um, gravitating towards because of one reason or another. And this is definitely one I gravitate towards, but I do have some other knives that I think are a little bit more useful in ways. So I, I just, you know, putting together a favorite list, which this was not a favorite list. Um, these are all great knives, but if I was going to put together 
or when I put together a favorite list, this will definitely be one of my favorites that are three inches or less. Now, like I said, there are a bunch of others and I'm gonna have to break this up into multiple videos because there are a lot of great three inches or less knives from 2021. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Peace.